what's up yo I thought since I'm the new keeper of the green and all I should do a tribute and find a way to make a Swamp Thing figure so that's what I did and this is how I started with a Superman because he was 10 bucks and he looked like the right uh, face shape except for his hair so I have to sand off all his hair so he's bald he's bald now and I just wiped him with a Lysol pad because there was lots of plastic dust from all that grinding and I gave his whole body a light sand now I'm gluing all the joints sanding a little more gluing a little more because I want him to be in place before I start putting all the spackling on so first after that glue dried I'm filling in all those joints with spackling because they'll be they'll take the longest to dry and they're the most important at the beginning so I sand that a little clean it up cut some toothpicks put those in his feet now I'm putting them on the base before I do any more um, spackles faulty using super glue. Alright, now starting the first layer of sculpt, covering most of his body with spackling and I'm just doing it kind of splotchy and random but I'm focusing on some spots more than others. I just want to start building him up. And I put a little piece of wire and I glued uh, above his nose for his weird mustache fine thing. I'm just using different ropes and wires and real strings. Glued a couple, they're gonna be, uh, what's it called? Roots. I'm making some lines on his chest and just anything kind of sticking out looks like plant growth or whatever so this not being pretty at this point or ever really so this is how I look all right so then now can't really see the details with the white so I'm putting a base layer of uh, some gray primer and greens and brown just a dark first coat so I can see what I'm doing and now I'm gonna add some more detail and fill them out some more with more spackling and to apply that was just like a little card I used like scrap cardboard mainly some cheap carving tools that I use sometimes. That's just a piece of string. It's supposed to look like a vine. Now with this coat I'm trying to cover everything. Now I'm onto some brown. I'm doing like a wet dry brush or a heavy dry brushing of the brown on certain spots and randomly. dried I'm now I'm dry brushing some leaf green this is when all the details really start to come out and yeah just a little bit of paint on the brush and then lightly dusting it over everything some spots like where I'll start will have a little more but that's fine with me it just looks like more of that leafy growth Green. I wanted to have as many different kind of greens and browns popping off of them or hitting them since it looks more natural I think. Now I'm gluing some moss on them and on the ground. Uh, 
painted that gloss with the green I was using to make it blend in better. No, I painted the moss. Did I say gloss? And now I have a raw sienna that I'm painting all the roots with. So off camera, I uh, put, gave him a clear coat and painted his eyes red, and now uh, this is the finished product. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, until next time, remember, always keep your head up. Peace.